What's up? So, uh, I've been evicted. Yep, baby number two is due in April. So I have actually been kicked out of my old office, which will now become the second nursery for baby boy. Super excited about that and super happy that I have a gracious wife who has allowed me to set up a brand new like studio and workplace here in our bedroom. The only downside of recording in here is I, I have to make the bed before each video. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video because I have a pretty sweet giveaway that I'm doing worth about 150 bucks. So I don't think you're gonna wanna miss that. Also, on this channel, we talk about minimalism, intentional living, tech, and more. So if that sounds good to you, go ahead and subscribe and smash that like button because that's how we conquer the algorithm. First things first, the desk itself. So my desk in my old office is actually too long to fit in this space in our bedroom. So I was looking for a smaller desk and literally while I was doing that, I had a company reach out to me and offer to send me a sit stand desk. That company is called Anthro Desk. It's basically their cheapest desk product, but it fits pretty perfectly in the space and it has only two controls up and down, but honestly, that's all I need. I should also say that links to all these things I'll be mentioning are gonna be in the description down below if you wanna pick them up. Some affiliate links, some not. So just pick out what you want. The only qualm I had about this desk particularly is they had me order it myself. And so when I went on there, there wasn't a black leg version of this desk, which I like more than anything. So it was between white and silver. Now, at the time I thought I was gonna be getting a wooden sort of oaky look top for this. So I decided silver would probably go best with that. So I went with the silver legs, got the oak, sort of dark wood finish desktop. But when I received the actual product, they sent me a black desktop. Now I've had a black desktop before, I don't mind it, but I asked my wife, I was like, is it okay that I have this black one or should I literally send it back and have them send me the right one? She said it would be okay with the black one. And something that I really enjoyed was I actually had a poster, which I'll get to in a minute, of Aruba that was black and white in this space already. And so I thought, what if I just went for a black and white theme for this setup? So that's what I decided to do, but now I wish I would have gotten the white legs instead of the silver legs just to tie in the black and white that much more. First thing on the left side of my desk is something really cool. So Pataka reached out last year and wanted to send me some product to review and I have an iPad mini 6 and I had yet to find any stands for the iPad mini that weren't like a billion dollars. So I said, hey, you guys have an iPad mini 6 stand for desks. Could you send me that and I'll look it over and talk about it here on the channel. So that's what they did. I love the stand. It sits on my desk every day. It has a wireless charger on the stand on the bottom part so you can charge your phone. I put my AirPods on there sometimes. But something I was really looking forward to doing with this setup was doing a video actually on replacing my Mac for a day with just iPad mini 6 to see if I could do it. But part of that video was gonna be me plugging in my iPad 6 into an external monitor and doing my work there. Well, this stand, you can't do that because part of the wireless charging system of this stand requires that port in the iPad mini 6, that USB-C port to be plugged into the case itself. So you can't actually plug anything in externally, which was a bummer. But a cool feature with handoff now on the Apple devices, I can actually use it as sort of an extension of my desktop and run Spotify on there, run any like YouTube videos I might be wanting to watch on there, things on the side while I'm doing my main work on the big screen. Right next to that is the Pataka 4-in-1 charger, which I have made a video of on in the past, which you can check out in the card up here. This is cool, charges your phone, charges your Apple Watch, charges your AirPods, um, and the coolest thing I think as well is the charger that charges your phone is MagSafe, and you can actually just slip it out with the phone and it's basically a battery pack too. Super cool setup, especially if you travel quite a bit, you can just throw this in a bag and you're able to charge all your devices. I have to mention, AirPods Pro, first gen, still going strong. I use it every day when I'm working from home to put in noise canceling, perfect. Next is the monitor. So this is the Samsung M7 and it's the 27 inch, maybe 32 inch, I believe. Uh, it's perfect. I wish it was the M8. I love the look of the M8, but that's just so expensive. And this was way cheaper once the M8 came out. And I actually have two of these monitors, one at home and one at work. It's perfect. It doubles as a smart TV, so if I want to watch some Netflix on my lunch break or something, it's great. So my daily driver computer is actually the 2020, I believe, M1 MacBook Air. This thing is still somehow a beast, being like the lowest price Apple computer out there right now, I believe. Yes, I edit all of my 4K videos for this channel on my M1 
MacBook Air, do all of my work for my nine to five job on my MacBook Air, can take it around with me anywhere I go, come home, plug it into the monitor and do my work. What's cool is I usually keep it closed and under the monitor stand, but if I ever want another screen to work off of, I can pull it out to the side, plug it in just the same. Now, my monitor stand is an interesting one. It's actually a recent purchase. When I figured out that I was gonna be doing this black and white setup, I was like, hey, black desktop, why don't I get like a white monitor stand? So I was looking for that and I found this really cool one that kind of folds kind of weird. The legs can fold in. It has these two trays. One has a little bit of room for like a pin. I think I have like a charger in there. And then the other one kind of folds out and tilts down. You can put your phone on there for whatever reason you might have. But I think it's great. It looks great. Kind of cheap looking. It's all plastic, but it's working for me. I do have a white PlayStation 4 controller, which I don't have a PlayStation. Um, First of all, my wife hates video games. I think they take up way too much time as well. But if I have some extra time in my day, uh, this controller works with Apple Arcade as well as any Steam games that I've bought in the past as well. So I keep that there if I have a free second to do some micro gaming. So my keyboard currently of choice is the Newfie, I think 60%. I'm sure you're seeing these all over the internet right now. They're super cool. The only issue I have with it is sometimes you have to really push down on the keys for them to like register, especially like the shift key. A lot of times I'll go to hit shift and type, it just won't register. So I feel like I have to kind of pound on it a bit more than usual, but I also kind of feel that that's sort of mechanical keyboards in general. My mouse is pretty lame. It's the Logitech Pebble. Now at work, I actually have the Magic Trackpad 2, which is awesome. And I've thought about maybe getting one for home as well, but there's just something about a mouse. I love the trackpad, but there's something about having a mouse. So for now, the Pebble's working fine. I do have the Magic Mouse 1, but the battery life is so crappy and this Pebble lasts like forever. On the corner of my desk, I keep my current favorite camera, which is the Ricoh GR3. I love it. It's just, I could talk about it all day. Amazing amount of camera in such a small amount of space. Put it in your pocket, point and shoot super fun for family stuff, street photography, just photography in general. The image quality is just insane. Now, my main camera is still the Sony a7 III, which I shoot all these videos on. Working great for me. I haven't had any issues with this camera. It's been awesome for quite a few years now. I also have my iPhone 13 Pro, which I decided not to upgrade this year thanks to a decision I made that my wife helped me make that my father-in-law actually helped me make. Um, this phone is great, and as I'm trying to be more intentional with my technology, I'm looking for ways to make tech last longer and not have to pay an arm and a leg every time because the new flashy thing comes out. To really get my money's worth, I'll have to keep this phone for another couple of years, but honestly, haven't had any issues. Crossing my fingers, Apple doesn't brick the phone's battery with a software update just to make me want and feel that I need to upgrade. I love Apple and I love seeing the new stuff they come out with, but maybe I don't need the new thing every year. Hot take as somewhat of a tech tuber. My journal of choice is the Finisher's Journal. Love Javier, love Finisher Secrets. Great company, I work with them, so it's fun to have these journals, which really does help with your mental awareness of what kind of work you're doing and what kind of work moves the needle and keeping the most important stuff the most important stuff my pen of preference is usually like a felt tip fine liner sharpie or the tri plus fine liners i do love ballpoints too if they're made really well so a pen isn't like a huge part and i don't have a ton of like huge opinions on pens but I usually work with that sort of fine tipped felt tip pen. I also love something called He Reads Truth, which is a daily devotional plan that has a physical copy, which I am reading through one right now. They have a, um, an app with subscription options, and you can also read any of the plans for free on hereadstruth.com. A lot of time and effort goes into the design and reasons behind the way they do things with the physical copy, so I do love that aspect. But sometimes, if I'm just trying to budget a little bit better, I'll just do the internet versions, which are great, but I recommend any of you guys check it out. As for my desk chair, it's a hand-me-down from my father-in-law. Nothing special, it works. Not the most comfortable thing, but it's fine, and I have a sit-stand desk, so half of the day I'm standing anyway, which 
changing it up I think is probably the best thing for our backs and our working posture anyway. The final thing are the posters that are on each side of my desk. The first one has been here for a while. It's actually a map of Aruba, which is where my wife and I traveled to for our honeymoon. We love it there. We've been one more time since then. It's just a happy little place, and I think it's literally called the Happy Little Island or something. Um, we love that framed picture. And then recently, as I was setting up this desk, I had a print of a photo of the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue, New York, that I took like, years ago when I was touring around with my band we were visiting New York City and um, I took this photo and I love it it's black and white they have since changed the staircase and it isn't see-through like it is in this photo so that's a piece of like history at this point I love this it kind of looks pretty stock like anyone could have taken it but I liked it I wanted to see it framed so nice black and white picture frames framing this desk setup it's pretty awesome so that's that that's my brand new minimalist black and white desk setup now for the moment you've all been waiting for the giveaway in fact you've already seen what I'm gonna be giving away in this video so though I have loved the Pataka 4-in-1 charger for quite a while now I prefer something a bit more minimal so I actually just have the dual MagSafe charger at my bedside and so I wanted to give away this amazing product because I felt someone else could use it a bit more than I am and like I said this is about $150 value and I wanted to give it away to you guys as just a thank you to everyone watching we hit 10k subs recently it's been awesome and I wanted to sort of give back to one of you lucky winners. For more info if you want to do research on the charger, I did an unboxing and review here which you can watch. It will come in the original box. I love keeping my tech rather clean so it will be like new basically. So how do you enter? It's four simple things and two of them you might have already done. First, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Second, like this video. Third, share this video on your social media of choice and tag me in it. And finally, comment down below your current favorite movie. I will choose a winner in a couple weeks and I'll tag them in a comment down below. Good luck. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. And I'll see you in the next video.